Mr. Neal here with a quick recap of the approaches to learning. Think of the approaches to learning as a set of tools that you use to develop into the type of learner that the IB program is designed to create. So when we think of the IB learner profile and those attributes that we're all trying to develop as we learn, this is our method to getting there or one set of skills that we can do. Um, I'm not going to read every one of these things on the screen. You can quickly recap them. I'm just going to point out a few things. Thinking, you can break that down in not only your academic critical thinking or your creative thinking, but also transfer whenever you are applying your learning to a new situation that's novel to you, you're engaged in thinking and often asked to do that. Collaboration uh, makes sense. Another point to make is that if you're working on something like social skills, you're probably going to have to develop other ATLs as you do that, like your communication or your self-management. So within communication, this is how the IB defines communication for you, if you're interested, and you can read that quickly. Self-management, one key point to put in with self-management, it is time management in your organization. Are you meeting deadlines and those kind of things? But most importantly, especially nowadays, it's your effective skills. How do you control your state of mind and your own mental health? Can you foster a growth mindset and a sense of positivity when meeting challenge? And do you communicate to others that you are the kind of person that is open, inclusive, and accepting of viewpoints other than your own. That's also part of self-management. And then finally, we have research, um, which you know is part of not just gathering information, but being able to um, understand bias and other things. That's really quick recap of the ATLs. Thanks for watching.